costumes, hair gel, and of course, our favorite book series. I thought I'd share some of my kids' favorite things. And then, you know, you can kind of know what the kids are what into What to expect days. one day when you know. I'm like having kids. I'm sure it'll be different by then. But seriously, earlier this week, we talked about all of Oprah's favorite things. And I loved so many of those products. And so it's only fitting that we do have a kids edition. Yes. And you're the person to do it. Well, I do have a couple of children at home. <laughs> and I two. now have a daughter. So let's talk about this first in a fun way that we like to display all of her princess dresses at home. So this is the Riga rack. So R I G G A. It's from IKEA and it's twelve ninety nine. And my up. son That's Brooke had this. Yeah, she had this at her house for her little girl. And I thought, what a great way to display all of their princess dresses. And then it's like a fun little part. We used to have it in her bedroom. Yeah. And she was changing dresses every five minutes. And so I was like, okay, let's put it down in the playroom. So now it's further down there. But when other girlfriends come over to play, I mean, it's just such a fun thing. It is to totally have. fun. It classes up every dress up. Well, I remember being little, like we stuffed them all into a That's big in a bin. box. Or in a, a bin. bin or yeah. the costume box. Yeah. So it's kind of fun to be able to say them like that. And then I'll tell you my favorite brand of dress to get. So mm -hmm. if you have girls, this is actually a Utah company. It's Little Adventures, and they're so machine washable. That's so, which is so great. I mean, Maggie literally wears a princess no, dress. No, it's literally the exact every same single dress day. Yeah, as she the real wears thing. princess dress to sleep. She wears it to school. Oh. She wears 27 layers. So I will tell you. And she has quite the collection, and just like I must say. I'm I know. Well, wardrobe. because they're also really good price there. <laughs> so that's why we get a bunch from them. Okay, so now my boys. Let's talk about okay. the boys. Okay, so what let's do they like? skip over to this. Okay. Okay. If you have kids, you've probably heard of the Fable Haven series. It's taken us a while before I felt like, oh, my kids are probably old enough that I should start reading this with them what grade every level night. Type so of... I would say I always thought it was more for like the 10 year olds, like uh -huh. the older elementary school, but we read it every night with Wes. So that's what's so yeah. interesting is that you can start reading it to your kids at a younger age. You know, Brody loves taking it and looking through it. He has a book that actually explains what all the characters looks like, and it's kind of the guide to Fablehaven. And this that is he sort of the whole through. series that it's they get into. It's a whole series. This is only three of them that I have here right now. And I love Brandon Mills, actually a local author. Oh, really? Which, you know, support local. I love, I love to support that. local yes, companies. Well, and also, I will tell you, we just finished the first one. All three of my boys started crying. <laughs> So I had to hurry the next day to go get the next <laughs> two. I oh, got two this time. Because, because they were sad it was, it was over. over. Okay. Because it was over. And Actually, it's also so cool. such a fun thing to be doing with your kids every night as part of their routine. And also, the holidays coming up, the kids are going to be home more. It's a fun way well, to I engage with your kids. I actually think this is like the perfect gift, too, yeah. to let kids give to each other yes. and do like book exchanges, especially if your kids like to read. You, yeah. have, to, you have to run with it. Well, and I think it's that. a great thing. Like, your grandkids are coming for the holidays. You want something fun to yes. do with them. That's something fun okay, to I've do with them. Okay, I've been looking at this the whole time, wondering what in the it world is so do you cool. have? And I actually have to thank my friend Weston at Cookie Cutters, because that's where I go to get my kids' haircut, because they know. They know how to cut kids' hair, but then they also know right the right sort of products you need for kids' hair that will work in kids' messy hair when kids are running and not be so sticky and hurt them. It's like a it pomade smells so good. meets a gel. Well, and that's what I love. It's actually the street cream, so it's a fibrous cream. So it's kind of tacky is yeah. what's like what I like tacky, about it. It's kind of tacky, but it's not too goopy. Yeah. So I love it, and I love that it smells and good. And how much do you you use? Like I use like as much. A kid, probably hair. what's in like your hand right like now. That. Yeah, yeah. Just you just get a little piece size and you do it depending Actually, on what I like their hair smell like. too, which is and rare style. for a pomade. I know. I feel like, and um, it's not like too goopy because they know what to do. Yeah. yeah, I will hop into the last thing. You know, when our producer like emailed me saying, "What are some of your kids' favorite things? What are they into?" And I thought, YouTube. Is that I something know. to share? People know about YouTube, no, but I is, do but want to share this. And I'm so sorry, I'm using Michelle's phone and I have the hair gel <laughs> on me now. But She's like, wipe your hands when off. When your kids are using YouTube, it's kind of scary when kids are having the internet. But YouTube actually has YouTube Kids, which is so great. So let me actually go back and Wait, show you. Wait, it's YouTube Kids version? So it's YouTube Kids, okay? So it's great because it's safer for the kids to use. So you can just find it in the App Store and click on that. Okay. And when you come up, it actually has, you can go back to here. And so this is for her kids. So she has 
different age kids have their own profile. So when you go, okay, let's say we're clicking on her five-year-olds, it's going to show more things oh, in the search like home YouTube screen. It's almost like YouTube meets Netflix, and yes. they have different like levels and categories. Yes, that and knowing who, what's appropriate, more age appropriate for that kid. You aren't going to have random things in their search feed and home base. So and how do you also, get this app, Jess? Is you it just free? Go, yeah, yeah, you, you just, just go somewhere. into the app store. I I think it's, yeah, it's free. It's free. YouTube's Probably is. free. YouTube usually but is. But yeah. what I love about it also is it has more monitors and it has more things that you can keep in place because you don't know when your kids are on the internet, yeah. especially as much as my kids love YouTube, you want it to be as safe as possible. And I'll tell you, the things they've learned on YouTube that are educational and things I've learned from them <laughs> oh, I are really you were helpful. Oh, negative. I was no, like, I know. it's awesome because it's the kids' one. It's the kids' one. We'll still I'm take so <laughs> glad you did this. This yes, is like you. so much fun. Great ideas for Christmas, the holiday season. We're gonna post the full list on our website as well, so people can go back and look at it. Yeah. Thank you. Hey, Thanks, Tom. no problem. We'll still to come at the end of the show. The secret to staying young. Keep it right here. We're back after this.